Welcome to Lug Ripper and this is going to be our instructional video. Of course you need to start out by using some safety glasses whenever we work on our vehicles. What we're going to look at here is we're going to start by doing some uh, drilling with a standard 21 millimeter lug nut. Now this is our water bladder kit. We ahead, went ahead and put it in place. If you don't have it, you can also use a squirt bottle or a bicycle bottle. Or if you have an overhead water, if you work on vehicles in a repair shop or facility. You want to make sure that you have plenty of water because we need a continuous stream of water during the process. On this particular one, we grabbed a 21 millimeter guide, we placed the guide with the slots up and down, we grabbed the collar clamp, put the collar clamp on, make sure the screw is to the right or to the left. Get yourself an Allen wrench, tighten the collar clamp down onto the guide. Again, you can see the water is coming straight down to the guide. Grab our Lug Ripper air drill. It's a specially designed half inch air drill that we use. We, we wish to have 600 to 700 RPM. Go ahead and put the drill bit in, lock it down with a chuck. We use this because we want to make sure that the drill bit doesn't move, stays in place nice and good. Go ahead and put a little bit of water in there to go ahead and get things started. Make sure we start off good. Go ahead and start the Go ahead and turn on the water bladder so we can get the continuous flow of water coming down right perfectly on top of our guide. Go ahead and start drilling. Use medium to firm pressure. In this case, I'm just using one hand so you can kind of see a little bit better for the filming. In the beginning, what we're going to do is go ahead and go for about one solid minute. And then we should be able to cut through the head of the lug nut. And then we'll use a magnet to go ahead and get that out. Looks like we're just about done. There we go. Okay, go ahead and turn off the water. Go ahead and grab our magnet here. Using the telescoping magnet, we go ahead and just go right inside the guide. Just go ahead and grab a hold of the head of the lug nut so we can go ahead and remove that and get that out of the way. If you don't do that, it's just going to feel like you're drilling nothing. Go ahead and turn the water back on and we're going to continue drilling. Total time estimated is approximately 11 minutes. So with the water that you're going to get out of your water bladder kit, you may have to fill that twice. Go ahead and do a complete drill out of a normal size lug nut. Here's a still photo showing what it looks like when you finish the job. And this is what it's all about, folks. To go ahead and drill out the lug nut completely and successfully without even scratching the rim. Congratulations and thank you very much. Remove the problem, remove the threads, remove the lug nut, save the rim. That's what we're talking about, folks, here. Thank you for purchasing the lug ripper. Smaller lugs and smaller old wheels. This definitely can be a challenge, but with us, we have it taken care of. As you see in our kit, we do have four different sizes available for guides. So starting off, grab your safety classes so we can go ahead and dive in again. For this particular situation, we chose an access wheel that has 19 millimeter lug nuts. If you see here, there's several different size and kinds of 19 millimeter lug nuts. So for that, you can figure out which guide works best for you. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use the 19 millimeter guide. Slide the guide over the selected lug nut, and then you want to see if you have enough room for the uh, collar clamp to slide over and secure it down without scratching or damaging the wheel. If, you're, if you are able to, fantastic, great. If not, we went ahead and anticipated this, so we put a specially designed flat slot located right here so that you can, or a friend of yours, can help you out by grabbing a hold of it with a 19 millimeter open-ended wrench. This will help you able to secure the guide into place so that it will not move, and then you can continue to drill out the lug nut without ever touching the rim. With these little acorn nuts, um, we do prefer that you use the 19 millimeter guide. As seen here, that's the 17, it doesn't fit. Here in the 19, it seems to fit just fine. You want to grab these as much as you can and again use the open-ended wrench method. Do not use the collar clamp. That way you can really get in there and you can grab them, hold them, and drill them out without having any damage to the Lug Ripper drill. Thank you again for choosing Lug Ripper, the number one source for removing stripped or frozen lug nut. Be sure to visit us at lugripper.com and place a testimonial for us. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you.